The state capitol debates over police reforms have dominated today's special session just two days before parts of the state government could go into shutdown mode. John Croman joins us now live from the capitol with the latest. John. Hey Lauren, you know these public safety bills, they had identical language when they got to the House and Senate today, but what's been going on all afternoon is that the House and Senate are both adding things to those bills, which means that in the end we may be back to the drawing board on police reforms. Injustice anywhere makes us all less safe. Democrats are trying to add an amendment that would restrict what are known as pretextual traffic stops pulling people over for minor equipment violations. It led to this committee debate over whether those types of stops disproportionately target black drivers. Cops pull people over for all kinds of infractions. So let's not be a Portland, Oregon who's saying, you don't stop people for minor infractions. If Lando Castile, 30 stops, or 30 some stops, and he's a 30 year old guy or so. I've had two or three in my life. And I'm sure it's not because I'm a perfect driver. Fact of the matter is, I'm, I'm really tired of hearing that because you're black, you're getting pulled over. That's not even part of my thought process. And Senator, you're not black. And you haven't asked me, I would tell you, I've been stopped 30, 40 times a year. The bill was inspired by the death of Dante Wright in Brooklyn Center during a traffic stop. Another one that was inspired by his death would allow judges to issue so-called sign and release warrants instead of arrest warrants for things like missing a court date, which is why officers were trying to arrest Wright after stopping him. Now, assuming that the House and Senate pass different versions of these bills, they'll have to go back into negotiations and try to come up with one version of the bill and then send it back to the House and Senate and hope that they pass it without changing it. And of course, as you mentioned, we've got a partial government shutdown looming because Thursday is when the new fiscal year starts and that's when shutdowns would begin for bills that aren't signed yet. The governor has, Lauren, signed eight bills, so there's at least eight parts of state government that will stay open starting July 1. Back to you. All right, John, we know you'll stay on top of it for us. Thank you.